our company is logging the largest timber in the world. Everything, including the trees, are bigger here in Canada. The equipment's bigger. The wood is a lot bigger. The ground is steeper. The areas are a lot more remote. It's just the most difficult, challenging, dangerous logging in the world, and that's what we're good at. BC loggers have extreme pride, extreme pride in what they do. Eric is a very demanding individual. He expects the best out of people. If you don't perform, you're gone. Every day, you got to put your boots on one foot at a time. You got to go out and you got to perform. When people perform, I stay out of their way. If people aren't pulling their weight, it might be known for losing my temper. Yes, that's true. We're going to blast the out of anything that gets in the way of the fallers. They deal with some pretty tricky with a power saw, but <clears throat> there's a limit. We are on the north end of Vancouver Island. A lot of the equipment is put on a barge and, and towed to the next island. We use large grapple yarders. The equipment's very big, and because uh, the wood, as you can see, is very big. The trucks come in, they get unloaded, and then from here they get put into the water and taken away by a barge to go to the marketplace. It's definitely a lifestyle commitment. What we're standing in front of is our uh, floating barge camp. So that's where the crew stays when they're here working in remote locations. The guys come in here and get changed so the dirty clothes don't end up upstairs. Dinner's at six. So the guys come back and have a shower and eat dinner. You can accommodate 32 people. Each have a, their own bunk. And all the rooms are wired for television. Uh, cellular boosters. A little bit of a rec room here. The pool table is functional, although it is on a barge. It kind of rocks around. It's a pretty nice setup. A lot of people have come here and, and made it their life's work. We're very fortunate to have them. Nothing comes easy in logging. Things always go wrong. Uh, it's about how you overcome those problems that defines whether you're going to be a successful company or a failure. We have good, smart people here that know how to make it work. Failure is not an option. <laughs>